Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the A&Y Bad Hair Edition. I know that recently I made far too many vlog reaction thingies and so on instead of scripted and uh, elaborated videos, and uh, I actually am not very happy with this kind of development because that's not what I wanted to make this channel for. And I've already been compared to this T. Herbert fellow. I tried to watch one or two of his videos once, but it was like, Ew, I can't really enjoy this and now I'm doing the same. <laughs> Nevertheless, um, I'm working on some actual scripts right now and it's really working 40 hours a week. Uh, kind of takes time out of uh, pony time. Nevertheless, uh, I'm not really wasting any scripting time because I'm sitting right now right here having breakfast and watching videos on YouTube and I just started watching the new Give and Take video and I caught myself uh, smirking a lot and I was like, God damn it, I still own Give and Take a reaction to one of his videos. So here we go, not wasting time, having breakfast while watching Give and Take. Man, you guys can be part of it. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, everybody, welcome to TBAP. Three better brothers bitching about poisson. Cause this fish isn't cooked. Haha. -ha. That, that makes it poison. Yes. <laughs> uh, no. Alright. <laughs> this. Right, this episode, let, let's just start off with introducing. I'm Give and Take. To my left is. <laughs> I've seen the first 40 seconds Gim. of something already, so. And we are reactions. here. More yes. breakfast. As you can probably see, Charlie's got a, a zebra OC. It's terrible. It's the worst thing ever because he's not a brony and he hates the show. He thinks it's not cool. Really? Well, I don't know. What do you think? I thought it might be alright, but after watching that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be like Spongebob. It, some of them are, but this one was not. It was his Trajer. First off, there's the beginning. At the beginning, they all been like, Oh, oh let's go to the trade thing. And then they try to explain, like, her yeah, Twilight's right. a princess, and no. she's trading. And she's there for a reason, and she's trading, yeah. and they're trading. And this is how you trade. It all Apparently. happens at once as well. So it's just like... Oh, exclamation after the next, there's no pauses. Yeah, it's just a big long exposition slog. Yeah. It's, it was kind of shit. One of the cool things I liked, actually, was, you know Rarity and Applejack? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. The white one and the orange one. Wasn't it blue? I mean... <laughs> purple hair with white coat. Oh, right. Yeah, that's Rarity. They were actually kind of funny. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that story. Don't you? Kind No, they were boring. Boring. They were the part. The, the their whole purpose was to show um, the other people moving in the background. You <laughs> well, noticed that? Yeah, I mean the whole thing was just like a big shit. <laughs> a big, <laughs> yeah, big shit. Because there was nothing. It was a clusterfuck. I think that was the word I used to describe it. Yeah. It was a clusterfuck. There was no what? real point. Give him. Sort Come of, on. Sort of all, all over the place. Kind of reminds me of that. Um, Cider season episode where it's just a big song huh. for most of it, and then you don't really learn anything. I like that one though. And there were two ex, two executive producers. <laughs> What's up with that? Executive producers. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, that surely is a point that you make. But nobody cares. No, it's it's funny because <laughs> as a non-brony, what did you think of the whole thing overall? It looks, sounds. Um, smells bad. <laughs> it looks bad? I thought the animation was quite nice. No, I, didn't, I don't like the animation. Don't you? The, the only animation I did like was, um, well, I rem I like the little bear. I don't know about the new animation. <laughs> since, like, the dogs look three. really stupid. It always looks a bit too yeah, but, much. Yeah, but look at the smooth. <laughs> It's not, I don't like, like it. Look at how smooth it is. It's like, in it's like, video it's games. like molten magma. I like Tom and Jerry, you know. <laughs> okay. okay, so honestly, it's not like are the this Tom and Jerry. these two <laughs> given <laughs> brothers? It's not like the Tom and Jerry. No, it's not. Alright, so let's, oh, uh, the beginning was kind of shit. I thought most of it, like the individual stories were kind of boring, which is why they had like all of the different ones and they cut between them because uh, it was just. Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, first off, what did you think of the uh, thing with Twilight Ele and Pinky? So Twilight was uh, 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 willing eloquent to, as old usual, books my to friend. sell, Pinky was trying to upsell them. What do you think about that? Just, just fuck. I don't it's think so they cringe trying to watch. 
I don't think I would slap a person if they did that to me. I don't think uh, the, that that message at the end. No one really needs to know that one. Which one? It's not an issue. What? It's, you, you remember that that Sonic thing? He said, "Don't don't go inside the the um, the washing machine." Or something. Oh, he's just <laughs> quoting the most yeah. nostalgic yeah, critic oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, that was the. It, um, it's the equivalent of that. <laughs> well, you know, it happens. No, it I doesn't. Mean, no well, kids, I've them. always climbed inside washing machines. It's my favorite pastime. Realistically, you do need to sell things that take up space. Yeah, it, it is a dumb thing. It's like saying, uh, nostalgia should come before practicality, which is bullshit. You know, if you don't have space for those books, you can't just keep them because you want to. That That's the beginning of Hoarders. Everybody said that, by the way. Everybody, if all the reviews I've seen so far are saying, oh my god, Twilight's a hoarder. Yeah, it is kind of that sort of implied that that I co it's not like hoarding is good. They're not saying that, but they are saying keep it. But yeah, that that moral. But all the morals were kind of shit, really, because the Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy one, you, you traded the things for the things, which was mild, mildly interesting. Basically saying, hey, don't trade your friends. <laughs> well, yeah, don't don't slavery. That's obvious, but it was more like. Your friends are more important, you should be more important than priceless artifacts, which is obviously true. Yeah, but does anyone need to learn that? Well, you know, four year olds, I don't know. Fuck. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw a metalhead in the cage. In the metalhead. Not like a tradi- not, not, No, we're not talking about metalheads like, oh yeah, the. What are, oh, you know, Maiden! Jack. Iron Maiden, yeah, well, Jack and Daxter metalheads. You know those, Jack and two of you? Put images up on the screen, Barry. Put on a hundred thousand images. What? <laughs> oh, you clip the mic, you fucking idiot. <laughs> hey, the anyway, quiet one made some noise. Enough of that. Oh, speaking of designs of things, the guy with the who had the um the, the pipes. The guy who owned the the dog. He was kind of cool looking. It he sounded he funny. He, he had like he had like. Red face paint. He looked. He sounded funny though. That was the thing. He's he like, reminded oh. me of a voice actor in some other cartoon. Yeah, you there. said SpongeBob. I, yeah, I think it's SpongeBob. Yeah, that that guy was cool. I liked him, even though I think I liked him because he had a goofy voice and a really dark. Because it, it seems like he's just kidnapping, uh, kidnapping. He's trapping monsters and then selling them on the black market. It seems like, but it's just an open market and he's a goofy guy. So you know when he said nope, I am Im immediately thought, why don't. Big Mac and him have a no off. No. Nope. <laughs> okay. Cut that out, Barry. Put that in, Barry. <laughs> Barry. All right. Another design though was the guy, the the black, uh, bra the brown guy with the purple hair and the wheelchair, the steampunk wheelchair. Just I thought he looked it. like shit the first time I watched it. I was like, oh fucking what? It's like um, a badly created OC, like the one you made. <laughs> Not quite as bad as that, but like badly created DeviantArt-esque OC yeah. with a, a steampunk wheelchair just sold it as like somebody in the production yeah. has like a relative who wanted an OC a in the show. Yeah, a nephew or something or a, a niece. And it's like, uh, fucking, what a, well, I don't really care that much. But then everybody, it was revealed that it's actually like a kid. Who's, it who's is an OC. Something. Well, not dying, he's just got a really crippling illness and he's in a wheelchair himself. He designed the thing and he put them in. And I, I guess that's cool, but I don't care whether, whether it's a sick kid or not. It's a bad OC, he should feel bad. I hope he <laughs> feel, I hope he feels better, because, uh, you know, that's... I, what has he got? Some sort of spine thing. <laughs> oh, not, very nice. not very nice for anybody. If I had a spine thing, I think I would uh, choose a different cartoon. Dude! <laughs> oh, snip! Snippity snip! Yeah. Shit's fired! <laughs> Shit's fired, indeed. <laughs> Shit's fired all over! Spines. What were you gonna say, Henry? Never mind. No, no, don't, never oh, mind. Don't stop. Then it's just, it feels awkward because I miss the moment when I can say it and it's relevant, and then it just feels awkward. To Stop say slapping it. the sofa, we can pick that up on the microphone. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Just <laughs> slapping, slapping the sofa. Yeah, that's definitely giving his brother what the. Slapping and dunk. The whole episode, though, uh, <laughs> just wait for that to end. <laughs> it's like I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> yeah, the whole episode, uh, orange, what's it, and purple. Orange and purple, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, 
the whole I don't remember the message or what they were doing, but I remember the whole point of their thing was to disagree with each other no matter what. Yeah, it well, it was a joke. I mean, they, they don't usually agree because one's really into fashion and one's a country bumpkin. But yeah, the Why it was it was comic relief kind of. I mean, they were all comic relief. They were all comic. It was just supposed to be a fun little day out, but they tried to build it up like, oh, friendship at the end. Was, the end was the morals. The, it, I hate it. Piece of shit. Zero. Can I just say something no, 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 about no, no, the can't. season? What? Through the fall. At least from. I haven't seen much of season four, and I went through season three. I kind of feel, you know, I might have to look it up, but I kind of feel that since season three, it's kind of gone to the fans, and it's no longer their own idea. Yeah, but you haven't watched much of it. You just you just saw the premiere of season four, and you're like, nope. Yeah, I know, but at least season three, from what I've seen of that, and you know, well, this episode. the fans didn't want the end of that one. It was sort of. Like... I mean, I know what you mean. They're sort of like including more brony type jokes, things that bronies would get. But they have been doing that the whole time. I mean, th at the end of the second season, or the beginning of the second season, there was a Star Wars parody, like uh, the end of uh, New Hope. You know that, Shelley? Where they're all like getting the medals. They parodied that entire scene at the end. So they've been doing sort of things that children wouldn't necessarily get for a while. Yeah, but those are referent. Referent. Ref <laughs> References to good things, and now they just seem to be referencing fanfic crap. No, they're not. What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. It just, it just, you just get that a, a feeling. Yeah, I get that feeling. It's just... <laughs> Female <laughs> intuition. The ponies... The, the whole episode was a clusterfuck. There were a few cute moments like this and that, and that, and then this. But overall, let's give like a, some sort of a gay score. I give it a gay out of Luigi. What do you think, Henry? Uh, I give it a duck whistle out of it. I don't give a fuck. All right, add uh, a chai. I get it a pee pee out of a poon. Poonies. <laughs> a poonies. A pee pee out of a poonies. <laughs> All right, there you go. There you have it, everybody. There, this has been T Bap, three better brothers bitching about poisson. There were no fish, that's why we hate this episode. Why couldn't they have been fish? Why? Revolution! This whole thing was just as long as the fucking episode. <gasps> no, I'm editing it down. Okay. Your comment means jig shat. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, goodbye. If um, Gibbon really can emulate his style fantastically, or if it actually is by Phantom Horn, but now we know. I mean, I still don't know if that those are his real brothers, but they have a certain level of similarity, so I could imagine they are. I guess I sh should also use more porn music when uh, featuring fan art. It has a certain mm. to it. Oh. My. Gibbon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I can't name it. Auto make given by the given brother, I call it. Dum dum dum. Will we ever know? Haha. Fuck you. Oh, not again. 
<laughs> really? You're naming your fan Giblet? What did they mind then? Adam Dish. <laughs> Hashtag give and take is roaring out. Pretty okay. Oh well. Uh, this was me having breakfast while kind of reacting to a video by Gibbon. Uh, it wasn't really... I mean, when I first got the idea to react, especially to Gibbon's videos, I was... Uh, it was because I was kind of like wah, 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 each and every time, and this one was more um, moderate since, yeah, it was basically a dialogue between three people, trialogue, a discussion, whatever. It was basically an open discussion and not this kind of, I don't even know how he produces his videos, they, I, I guess they are scripted, but, I don't know, dude, how are you doing it? They are kind of scripted, but you also have your very all over the place way of uh, expressing yourself and talking and it's like huh nevertheless um yay for the uh, for for finally getting a reaction video for having had breakfast and now i'm going to do actual stuff instead of uh, this hope you enjoyed it all if not don't worry this will not be main content of my channel because i'm not t herbert and i hope i will never end up being him bye bye